the reason why Hashem rejected Adam and Eve from the Garden of Eden, and I read that yesterday night in Midrash Rabbah, was because that the world started to mistake Adam and Eve as if they were Hashem. They were so perfect that Hashem had to divide them into male and female, and then it didn't work. It was not enough. Their holiness was too big. The form of Adam and Eve, the soul of human beings, is so illuminating that when we were created, the world wanted to bow to us. They thought we are Hashem. They thought we are God. That's what Midrash Rabbi is saying. We are such illuminating souls now. You look at yourself. No, me without makeup. I look disaster. Listen to me. Stop looking at your idiotic physicality. It's nothing. It's not even here. Your attention to your body is blocking the light of your soul. That's the only thing that goes on in this messed up world. That you listen to the voice that are distracting you from the truth. What the hell is the truth? The truth is that you have a godly soul. Put God into a body and that's what that goes on with you. From one side, he's a prisoner because he doesn't want to break the, the cell. He doesn't want to break your body. And on the other hand, he is not limited in no way. He is a prisoner inside of you out of his own will to be prisoned by you. Because he still has hope from you. That's why the first thing we say in the morning is, Rabbi Munatecha, your faith is great. That you believe in us. I'm thanking you, Hashem. Moderni lefanecha, melechai v'kayam, the alive and exist king, that you brought back the soul into me. Bechemla, with great compassion. Rabbi Munatecha, your faith is great. Your faith. Hashem's faith in us. Hashem's faith in us. That we can grow. The that we can be set free from our imaginations, from our mind prison. Your body is nothing, is a tool, it's a weapon. The maker of the universe live within us. Betoch ami anochi yoshavet, I sit. I am inside my people. Asuli mishkan veshachanti betocham. Make a mishkan. And we did. We built the mishkan. And I will live among you. Ki chelek Adonai amo. Because the share of Hashem is his people, is his nation. And Hashem is saying, v'ani amarti, Elohim atem, you are God. And children of the divine, you are all. Verses. Can you understand that? And please, is there any other way to understand that? Except for realizing that Moshe was not different because he was Moses. Abraham was not different because he was Abraham. Yaakov was not different because he was Yaakov. Eliyahu and Avi was not different. Everyone were different. Oh no, Abraham was Abraham. Sarah, no, she was Sarah. No, there's no connection. Yeah, Yaakov, no, Yaakov was something else. Oh yeah, Yosef at Sadiq, no, he was able to stand those tests. No, me, I cannot. Why not? Have you ever seen a, a lemon coming out from a, a, an apple tree? Why do you think that the fruits will be different than their fathers? Why do you think that you are different than them? 
I'll tell you why. Because you listen to Lashon Ara for years. For years you heard negative talks about yourself, toxic talks about your being, about who you are. You're a scumbag, you're full of this, you're full of that, you're nothing, you're worthless, you're hopeless, you're zero, you're a failure, you're ugly, you're disgusting, you're fat. Look at your nose, look at your eyes, look at your ears. Look. All that filled from day to night, night and day, day and night, night and day, criticism, criticism, self-judgment, self-tormenting ourselves, self-slaughtering, killing ourselves, choking ourselves. For what? For what? Are you the maker of the world to blame yourself for your creation, for the nature of your creation? About yourself to say that you're ugly? To say about yourself that you're ugly? Like, are you stupid? Me? I don't think one bad thing about myself. I don't give it a place. I don't give it a space. I'm not allowing those conversations. And you're going to think I'm not doing tshuva? I'm not judging myself? No, I am. Oh, big time I am. But in the time that I'm dedicating for that, I take the time to judge myself. One hour a day, I'm going to judge myself. I'm going to crush myself in front of Hashem. I'm going to dissect every moment of my life, every word, every speech, every thought, every look, every, every act, everything that I do, I will look at it and I will judge myself for it in front of Hashem, not in front of my evil inclination to lower and downgrade myself in my own eyes. No, because I know that I need to report my actions to the maker of the universe. So I am. But in the rest of my time, oh, I will look only for good, only for good in myself and in people. I will always look for good. I will always look for good.